I resigned from OpenAI because I lost faith that by themselves, they will make responsible decisions about AGI. No one knows how to ensure that AGI systems will be safe and controlled. OpenAI's charter defines AGI as highly autonomous systems that outperform humans at most economically valuable work. AI companies are making rapid progress towards building AGI. A few days before this hearing, OpenAI announced a new system, GPT-01, that passed significant milestones, including one that was personally significant for me. When I was in high school, I spent years training for a prestigious international computer science competition. OpenAI's new system leaps from failing to qualify to winning a gold medal, doing better than me in an area relevant to my own job. There are still significant gaps to close, but I believe it is plausible that an AGI system could be built in as little as three years. AGI could also cause catastrophic harm via systems autonomously conducting cyber attacks or assisting in the creation of novel biological weapons. OpenAI's new AI system is the first system to show steps towards biological weapons risk, as it is capable of helping experts in planning to reproduce a known biological threat. Without rigorous testing, developers might miss this kind of dangerous capability. While OpenAI has pioneered aspects of this testing, they've also repeatedly prioritized speed of deployment over rigor. I believe there is a real risk they will miss important, dangerous capabilities in future AI systems. Current AI systems are trained by human supervisors giving them a reward when they appear to be doing the right thing. We will need new approaches when handling systems that can find novel ways to manipulate their supervisors or hide misbehavior until deployed. The super alignment team at OpenAI was tasked with developing these approaches, but ultimately we had to figure out as we went along. A terrifying prospect when catastrophic harm is possible. Today, that team no longer exists. Its leaders and many key researchers resigned after struggling to get the resources they needed to be successful. OpenAI will say that they are improving. I and other employees who resigned doubt they will be ready in time. This is true not just with OpenAI. The incentives to prioritize rapid deployment apply to the entire industry. This is why a policy response is needed. If any organization builds technology that imposes significant risks on everyone, the public must be involved in deciding how to avoid or minimize those risks. That was true before AI. It needs to be true today with AI.